Welcome back everyone. I'm Janet Mandel and these are my mini art talks. I'm going to begin today with, as usual, a little bit of drama. And I'm going to introduce you to Henry Wallace. Now, Henry Wallace was born in 1830 and he lived until 1916. And he was a member of the British pre raphaelite Brotherhood. And uh, he was also, besides being a painter, was also a writer and a collector. Now, the Brotherhood was a group of English painters and poets and art critics, and they emerged in England around 1848. And what they were interested in was a return to the detail and the intense colors and the very uh, complex compositions of the uh, Italian art from the 1400s, from before Raphael, who uh, died in 1520. Um, now, they had a manifesto, of course, and um, two of their most important uh, declarations to follow were to have genuine ideas to express and also to study nature attentively so as to uh, be able to express these serious ideas in a very heartfelt uh, way. So that's what the Pre-Raphaelites were all about and uh, Wallace certainly adheres to that in the painting that I'm going to discuss today. Let me just make myself a little smaller here so we can see the uh, image. Now, this is a painting called The Stone Breaker. He painted it in 1855, and it can be found today at the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery in the United Kingdom. Um, now, this painting is actually very political, which may be why I was drawn to it, because I have to be honest with you, I've never really been that interested in the pre Raphaelite Brotherhood. Um, not that I dislike their work, but it's just I've never found it uh, very, very compelling. So, um, but, but this painting really captured my imagination, probably because it is very political. It was a commentary by Wallace on the Poor Law Amendment Act of 1834. This was a law that had been passed more than 20 years before uh, Wallace paints the picture. And what this law did was it formalized the workhouse system in um, England of how to treat uh, the able-bodied poor. And what the law uh, set forth was that in order to qualify for lodgings and food, that you had to do many, many long hours of manual labor, forced manual labor. And what we see here in this painting is a worker that has had this very arduous job of smashing stones to produce material to build roads. It is the Industrial Revolution after all. And uh, he looks like here, like he's resting after this very long, uh, exhausting day that he's had. But we need to look a little bit more closely to see clues for something else that's actually going on in the painting and that Wallace was trying to express. So first of all, let's look at the hammer here. Now, ordinarily, someone was just tired, a worker was just tired and wanted to, to uh, sit down and rest. He would prop the, the, his tool, his hammer up somewhere and then sit down. But this hammer doesn't look like that, it doesn't look like it's been propped up. It looks like it's slipped from his grasp and kind of just fallen on the ground. Next, let's look at this background here, this sky here. First of all, it looks like the sun is setting. And Wallace has used very, very muted colors in this sunset. And I think it gives the painting kind of a very eerie quality, almost a quality of finality here. And then furthermore, the last clue that Wallace gives us is look down here at the worker's right foot. And I'm gonna zoom in on it a bit so you can see. Do you see this little thing here, this little creature? This is a stoat. Now stoats were these woodland creatures, rodents, and they were usually very, very skittish. So the fact that this stoat has come up so close to this man makes us realize and understand that Wallace has given us the figure of a man that has actually been slumped in death, that he has literally been worked to death. Now, 
The public and the press also saw this painting in the same way, and they saw it as a justified criticism of the poor law. And it was exhibited in, at the Royal Academy in 1858, three years after the Stonebreaker was painted, and it really consolidated Wallace's reputation. Now this painting, I also chose it to show you because the painting kind of reminded me about how hard some people are working today, uh, working to keep us safe in this pandemic. And that it also seems to me that a lot of these people that are working so hard and that are risking their lives for us every day to make us safe are some of the most poorly paid people in our economic world. And I always felt that that was pretty unfair. And uh, maybe that's what drew me to this painting because Wallace was expressing those same kinds of, of views. So hopefully when this is all over, we can realize how all of these essential workers um, that they're really the ones that keep our economy going and that we'll, we'll make some changes after this is all over. I, I hope so. So thank you for joining me. I want to remind you that you can, uh, if you're on Facebook, you can go to the uh, My Art Talks Facebook page. If you just put my name and Art Talks in the um, little search bar there, it will come up and you'll see, look at for, for my logo, my Art Talks logo, and you'll find me on Facebook. And I, I uh, post these videos and also post other uh, interesting things uh, from the art world there. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel where I post these videos and you can um, subscribe there and leave comments. And I'm also on uh, Instagram, just put Art Talks with Janet. You can find me there. Please follow me. And I also have a uh, web page. And there's the URL down at the bottom. Now, this web page in the schedule section has what my schedule was for the spring, which has, of course, mostly been canceled. But at the very top, I've listed the um, art talks that I'm now doing um, virtually online. Some of them are free and some of them you have to pay a little fee to help support the institutions that are sponsoring them. Um, but the, uh, the Zoom links and the URLs to register are there too. So I hope you'll come and see some of my uh, longer art talks as well. I have some pretty interesting topics coming up. So thanks again for joining me for mini art talks. And uh, I hope that things are going well for you. And I hope that you will come back soon and see me again. Thank you. Bye bye now.